What's good, guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Milk Carton series. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new, tuning into this channel where we discuss missing person cases, unsolved cases, and any other type of crime stories that you guys may love to hear. So I wanted to touch on another missing person case, but since it's a lengthier time versus the others that I have covered on most recently, I felt like it's really good to do so because when cases go unsolved or the disappearance has been prolonged, it's very important that we bring them back up each year, not even each year, like literally almost every month we do something pertaining to them. So I was doing some research and I wanted to focus on another missing person case, of course. And I came across the case of Sarah Kinslow. Sarah went missing in 2001 from the Greensville, Texas area. She was 14 at the time of her disappearance. She would be listed at about 33 years old right now. And when I look at cases, I always look at the age and I say, wow, this could be someone that I know. Hell, it could be a 14 year old when I was 14, you know, that went missing. And if you ever had someone go missing or if you ever had an unsolved case, then you know how it can really tug at your heart when there is either no justice or the person has not turned up or there's no new information. She was last seen on May 1st of 2001. She was supposed to be going to school at about 7.30 a.m. Greenville Middle School, but Sarah had plans of her own. And her friends decided they were going to skip school and go to the local cemetery to just hang out. And the reason why you're probably like, well, Steph, why would she not go to school? I have been here. I was a teenager once. I'm not old, you know, nonetheless, but I have been in these shoes of not being a good leader, but being a follower and thinking you know the world at 14 years of age. And that's why we have to talk about these cases so that way the younger generation can take heed of the decisions that we make. Don't say that in a negative way at all. So please don't kill me for that. I say this because the things that we do have repercussions and sometimes it can really change the course of our lives. A friend stated that she never showed up and she was literally never heard from again. And when she went missing, of course, you know, her family did the proper thing and police dogs were able to trace her scent. scent went two blocks from the school. Then the trail ended up ending. There was, there was no more scent for them to go off of. Witness claims they seen Sarah in a blue Ford truck. This was at about 3.30 p.m. that afternoon. And she went, no one had seen her from like 7.30 that a.m. the same day. The witness stated that the person driving the vehicle was a Caucasian man and he had been seen around the school. Also stated that the man looked to believe to be in his 30s. He had a dark brown hair and he had a pencil mustache. Witness also stated that Sarah didn't look to be in any distress and it looked as if she had knew the man. Another witness also stated that they seen, seen Sarah at a phone booth and this was in Cotto Mills, Texas. This and But this was like literally right after her disappearance. As the case began to unfold, police ended up finding out that Sarah actually had a boyfriend who was 18 years old and they ended up arresting him because he was 18 for one and this, she's 14. So you're having sex with an underage child. Although it appeared to be consensual, it still doesn't take away the age of the laws that are just out there and these laws are out there of course to protect you and your child or just anyone that you know but he was arrested sarah's parents did not allow her to date but it was reported in the article on the charlie project that they knew they knew of him i read that line i said you know we can tell our children all day long not to talk do things they're gonna do things that they want to do and how i know this because i was a teenager i know this because i wasn't allowed to date hell not even in middle school i wasn't allowed to do things but what was i doing i was out here thinking i was grown and i'm glad i was a little smart and not get pregnant or anything like that like i had been dating 
the guy, Bell. I didn't say his name. I do apologize. Apologize. I did not say his name. His name is Curtis Wayne Bell. And they had been dating for about two months. And when they recovered her journals, Kara had been writing in her journals that she wanted to leave and get married and go to Mexico with Bell. To do this because she knew her parents would not allow her to be with him especially because one he's 18 you're 14 there's really no correlation as to why you even have anything in common at that age it had been reported that bell stated that they had discussed uh, discussed this plan but he was never really serious about running away to mexico with I believe that sarah left on her own accord because one she didn't bring any clothes nor toothbrush anything to indicate that she was trying to run away on that day of may 1st of 2001. Girl, her friends failed a polygraph when it pertained to the disappearance of sarah they all claimed that they did not know where sarah's whereabouts were and they all failed the lie detector test. There has been reports of many people seeing sightings of Sarah in different states, but, and also reported that she may have cut her hair low and dyed it, dyed it a different color, but none of those things really panned out and there hasn't been any new information pertaining to the disappearance of her. The case is unsolved and it is listed as a runaway. As I was reading this case, I have two things I feel like may have happened to her. Or three, should I say. One being, maybe something happened with the friends and one of the, they got into an argument and something happened and maybe she died. Or I feel like they t Sarah told them that she was gonna run away and that they weren't to say anything and like this was just a ploy of to skip school you know to set something into motion two i think maybe the boyfriend had something to do with it it doesn't really state in the articles if he actually failed the lie detector test it just says that they as a group some of them in the group failed the lie detector test so i wonder if maybe he wasn't as serious to be with sarah but and she probably wasn't taking that and then they probably got into a fight and then something happened, you know, and then she's no longer here. And then three, maybe, kind of correlates with the first one, maybe, just maybe, she ran away. You know, maybe she no longer wanted to be here. She no longer wants to be in her life. She probably can't have the man that she want to be with. You know, her parents doesn't want her to date this guy. You know, typical teenage stuff. And I think maybe she might have taken it a little too far. That's just my accusations as just li listening and looking at this case. Because, of course, not a lot of information to go off of. Yeah, but nonetheless, you know, I do hope that her family gets the information that they need. Because 2001 and we're in 2020, so many years, decade than happen, you know? And I would hope and pray that her family just gets the information that they need. And that's why I really wanted to touch on this story because again, when cases like that, again, because when people go missing and there's no new information that turns up, they go cold and no one really talks about them anymore. So that is the disappearance of Sarah Kenslow. She has been missing since May 1st of 2001 and she has not been seen since. Her scent was tracked two blocks away from the school but that was the last time anyone had really gotten any scent from her. So that is this story for today guys. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and don't forget to send me don't forget to send me any submissions that you guys have. You can also just comment down below and I'll check them out. I love when you guys give me video ideas because it makes it fun and it makes, you know, I feel like we're working together. So until the next video, guys, I will see you.